a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Blockchain A blockchain, originally blockchain, is a growing list of records, called blocks, which are linked using cryptography. Each block contains a cryptographic hash of the previous block, a timestamp, and transaction data. By design, a blockchain is resistant to modification of the data. It is, an open, distributed ledger that can record transactions between two parties efficiently and in a verifiable and permanent way. For use as a distributed ledger, a blockchain is typically managed by a peer-to-peer -peer network collectively adhering to a protocol for internode communication and validating new blocks. Once recorded, the data in any given block cannot be altered retroactively without alteration of all subsequent blocks, which requires consensus of the network majority. Although blockchain records are not unalterable, blockchains may be considered secure by design and exemplify a distributed computing system with high Byzantine fault tolerance. Decentralized consensus has therefore been claimed with a blockchain. Blockchain was invented by Satoshi Nakamoto in 2008 to serve as the public transaction ledger of the cryptocurrency Bitcoin. The invention of the blockchain for Bitcoin made it the first digital currency to solve the double spending problem without the need of a trusted authority or central server. The Bitcoin design has inspired other applications, and blockchains which are readable by the public are widely used by cryptocurrencies. Private blockchains have been proposed for business use. Sources such as the computer world called the marketing of such blockchains without a proper security model, snake oil. History The first work on a cryptographically secured chain of blocks was described in 1991 by Stuart Harbour and W. Scott Stornetta. They wanted to implement a system where document timestamps could not be tampered with. In 1992, Bayer, Harbour and Stornetto incorporated Merkle trees to the design, which improved its efficiency by allowing several document certificates to be collected into one block. The first blockchain was conceptualized by a person known as Satoshi Nakamoto in 2008. Nakamoto improved the design in an important way using a hash cache like method to add blocks to the chain without requiring them to be signed by a trusted party. The design was implemented the following year by Nakamoto as a core component of the cryptocurrency Bitcoin, where it serves as the public ledger for all transactions on the network. In August 2014, the Bitcoin blockchain file size, containing records of all transactions that have occurred on the network, reached 20 gigabytes. In January 2015, the size had grown to almost 30 gigabytes, and from January 2016 to January 2017, the Bitcoin blockchain grew from 50 gigabytes to 100 gigabytes in size. The words block and chain were used separately in Satoshi Nakamoto's original paper, but were eventually popularized as a single word, blockchain, by 2016. The term blockchain 2.0 refers to new applications of the distributed blockchain database, first emerging in 2014. The Economist described one implementation of this second-generation programmable blockchain as coming with a programming language that allows users to write more sophisticated smart contracts, thus creating invoices that pay themselves when a shipment arrives or share certificates which automatically send their owners dividends if profits reach a certain level. Blockchain 2.0 implementations continue to require an off-chain oracle to access any external data or events based on time or market conditions, that need, to interact with the blockchain. IBM opened a blockchain innovation research center in Singapore in July 2016. A working group for the World Economic Forum met in November 2016 to discuss the development of governance models related to blockchain. According to Accenture, an application of the diffusion of innovations theory suggests that blockchains attained a 13.5% adoption rate within financial services in 2016, therefore reaching the early adopters phase. Industry trade groups joined to create the Global Blockchain Forum in 2016, an initiative of the Chamber of Digital Commerce. In May 2018, 
Gartner found that only 1% of CIOs indicated any kind of blockchain adoption within their organizations, and only 8% of CIOs were in the short-term planning or looking at active experimentation with blockchain. Structure A blockchain is a decentralized, distributed, and public digital ledger that is used to record transactions across many computers so that the record cannot be altered retroactively without the alteration of all subsequent blocks and the consensus of the network. This allows the participants to verify and audit transactions inexpensively. A blockchain database is managed autonomously using a peer-to-peer -peer network and a distributed timestamping server. They are authenticated by mass collaboration powered by collective self-interests. The result is a robust workflow where participants' uncertainty regarding data security is marginal. The use of a blockchain removes the characteristic of infinite reproducibility from a digital asset. It confirms that each unit of value was transferred only once, solving the long-standing problem of double spending. Blockchains have been described as a value exchange protocol. This blockchain-based exchange of value can be completed quicker safer and cheaper than with traditional systems. A blockchain can assign title rights because, when properly set up to detail the exchange agreement, it provides a record that compels offer and acceptance. Blocks Blocks hold batches of valid transactions that are hashed and encoded into a Merkle tree. Each block includes the cryptographic hash of the prior block in the blockchain, linking the two. The linked blocks form a chain. This iterative process confirms the integrity of the previous block, all the way back to the original Genesis block. Sometimes separate blocks can be produced concurrently, creating a temporary fork, in addition to a secure hash-based history. Any blockchain has a specified algorithm for scoring different versions of the history so that one with a higher value can be selected over others. Blocks not selected for inclusion in the chain are called orphan blocks. Peers supporting the database have different versions of the history from time to time. They keep only the highest scoring version of the database known to them. Whenever a peer receives a higher scoring version they extend or overwrite their own database and retransmit the improvement to their peers. There is never an absolute guarantee that any particular entry will remain in the best version of the history forever. Because blockchains are typically built to add the score of new blocks onto old blocks and because there are incentives to work only on extending with new blocks rather than overwriting old blocks. The probability of an entry becoming superseded goes down exponentially as more blocks are built on top of it, eventually becoming very low. For example, in a blockchain using the proof-of-work system, the chain with the most cumulative proof-of-work is always considered the valid one by the network. There are a number of methods that can be used to demonstrate a sufficient level of computation. Within a blockchain the computation is carried out redundantly rather than in the traditional segregated and parallel manner. Block time The block time is the average time it takes for the network to generate one extra block in the blockchain. Some blockchains create a new block as frequently as every five seconds. By the time of block completion, the included data becomes verifiable. In cryptocurrency, this is practically when the transaction takes place. So a shorter block time means faster transactions. The block time for Ethereum is set to between 14 and 15 seconds, while for Bitcoin it is 10 minutes. Decentralization By storing data across its peer-to-peer -peer network, the blockchain eliminates a number of risks that come with data being held centrally. The decentralized blockchain may use ad hoc message passing and distributed networking. Peer-to-peer -peer blockchain networks lack centralized points of vulnerability that computer crackers can exploit. Likewise, it is no central point of failure. Blockchain security methods include the use of public key cryptography. A public key is an address on the blockchain. Value tokens sent across the network are recorded as belonging to that address. A private key is like a password that gives its owner access to their digital assets or the means to otherwise interact with the various capabilities that blockchains now support. Data stored on the blockchain is generally considered incorruptible. Every node in a decentralized system has a copy of the blockchain. Data quality is maintained by massive database replication and computational trust. No centralized, official, 
copy exists and no user is trusted more than any other. Transactions are broadcast to the network using software. Messages are delivered on a best effort basis. Mining nodes validate transactions, add them to the block they are building, and then broadcast the completed block to other nodes. Blockchains use various time stamping schemes, such as proof of work, to serialize changes. Alternative consensus methods include proof of stake. Growth of a decentralized blockchain is accompanied by the risk of centralization. Because the computer resources required to process larger amounts of data become more expensive. Openness Open blockchains are more user-friendly than some traditional ownership records, which, while open to the public, still require physical access to view. Because all early blockchains were permissionless, controversy has arisen over the blockchain definition. An issue in this ongoing debate is whether a private system with verifiers tasked and authorized by a central authority should be considered a blockchain. Proponents of permissioned or private chains argue that the term blockchain may be applied to any data structure that batches data into time-stamped blocks. These blockchains serve as a distributed version of multi-version concurrency control in databases. Just as MVCC prevents two transactions from concurrently modifying a single object in a database, blockchains prevent two transactions from spending the same single output in a blockchain. Opponents say that permission systems resemble traditional corporate databases, not supporting decentralized data verification, and that such systems are not hardened against operator tampering and revision. Nikolai Hampton of Computer World said that, Many in-house blockchain solutions will be nothing more than cumbersome databases. And, without a clear security model, proprietary blockchains should be eyed with suspicion. Permissionless The great advantage to an open, permissionless, or public, blockchain network is that guarding against bad actors is not required and no access control is needed. This means that applications can be added to the network without the approval or trust of others, using the blockchain as a transport layer. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies currently secure their blockchain by requiring new entries to include a proof of work. To prolong the blockchain, Bitcoin uses Hashcash puzzles. While Hashcash was designed in 1997 by Adam Back, the original idea was first proposed by Cynthia Dwork and Moni Nayor and Eli Poniatowski in their 1992 paper, Pricing via Processing or Combating Junk Mail. Financial companies have not prioritized decentralized blockchains. In 2016, venture capital investment for blockchain-related projects was weakening in the USA, but increasing in China. Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies use open blockchains. Bitcoin has the highest market capitalization. Permissioned, private, blockchain Permissioned blockchains use an access control layer to govern who has access to the network. In contrast to public blockchain networks, validators on private blockchain networks are vetted by the network owner. They do not rely on anonymous nodes to validate transactions nor do they benefit from the network effect. Permissioned blockchains can also go by the name of consortium or hybrid blockchains. The New York Times noted in both 2016 and 2017 that many corporations are using blockchain networks, with private blockchains, independent of the public system. Disadvantages of private blockchain Nikolai Hampton pointed out in Computer World that, there is also no need for a 51% attack on a private blockchain as the private blockchain already controls 100% of all block creation resources. If you could attack or damage the blockchain creation tools on a private corporate server, you could effectively control 100% of their network and alter transactions however you wished. This has a set of particularly profound adverse implications during a financial crisis or debt crisis like the financial crisis of 2007-08 where politically powerful actors may make decisions that favor some groups at the expense of others. And, the Bitcoin blockchain is protected by the massive group mining effort. It's unlikely that any private blockchain will try to protect records using gigawatts of computing power. It's time-consuming and expensive. He also said, within a private blockchain there is also no race.
Terry no incentive to use more power or discover blocks faster than competitors. This means that many in-house blockchain solutions will be nothing more than cumbersome databases. Uses Blockchain technology can be integrated into multiple areas. The primary use of blockchains today is as a distributed ledger for cryptocurrencies, most notably Bitcoin. There are a few operational products maturing from proof of concept by late 2016. Some observers remain skeptical. Steve Wilson, of Constellation Research, believes the technology has been hyped with unrealistic claims. To mitigate risk, businesses are reluctant to place blockchain at the core of the business structure. Smart Contracts Blockchain-based smart contracts are proposed contracts that could be partially or fully executed or enforced without human interaction. One of the main objectives of a smart contract is automated escrow. An IMF staff discussion reported that smart contracts based on blockchain technology might reduce moral hazards and optimize the use of contracts in general. But, no viable smart contract systems have yet emerged. Due to the lack of widespread use their legal status is unclear. Banks Major portions of the financial industry are implementing distributed ledgers for use in banking, and according to a September 2016 IBM study, this is occurring faster than expected. Banks are interested in this technology, because it has potential to speed up back-office settlement systems. Banks such as UBS are opening new research labs dedicated to blockchain technology in order to explore how blockchain can be used in financial services to increase efficiency and reduce costs. Berenberg, a German bank, believes that blockchain is an overhyped technology that has had a large number of proofs of concept, but still has major challenges and very few success stories. Other uses Blockchain technology can be used to create a permanent, public, transparent ledger system for compiling data on sales, tracking digital use and payments to content creators, such as wireless users or musicians. In 2017, IBM partnered with ASCAP and Press for Music to adopt blockchain technology in music distribution. Image and Heap's Mycelia service has also been proposed as blockchain-based alternative that gives artists more control over how their songs and associated data circulate among fans and other musicians. Everledger is one of the inaugural clients of IBM's blockchain-based tracking service. New distribution methods are available for the insurance industry such as peer-to-peer -peer insurance, parametric insurance, and micro-insurance following the adoption of blockchain. The sharing economy and IoT are also set to benefit from blockchains, because they involve many collaborating peers. Online voting is another application of the blockchain. Blockchains can be used to catalog game assets, as with CryptoKitties. Other designs include, on May 8, 2018 Facebook confirmed that it is opening a new blockchain group which will be headed by David Marcus who previously was in charge of Messenger. According to The Verge Facebook is planning to launch its own cryptocurrency for facilitating payments on the platform. In September 2018, IBM and a startup Humanity.co launched a blockchain-based app that let patients sell anonymized data to pharmaceutical companies. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries Would you like to know more?